The Yavapai County Sheriff's Office is not happy with the DEA, which announced a new operation to focus on the drug crisis there. But the sheriff says his department has been working with the community to fight the problem for years. And now the Yavapai County Sheriff's Office is giving Team 12's Bianca Bono an exclusive look at the tools that they're using to put dealers behind bars and help those struggling with addiction. In a mock traffic stop, a Yavapai County Sheriff's Lieutenant. You got your driver's license registration proof insurance on you? Showing our 12 News crew what it's like to pull over a driver suspected of a drug violation. Well, I'm going to run my dog on your car. Within minutes, the lieutenant's canine, trained to detect fentanyl, sits near the vehicle, indicating drugs are inside. She was right. That's black tar heroin. This only a demonstration, but this. Buddy, you got this. A grim look at the reality first responders tackling the opioid crisis face on a regular basis. Second dose of Narcan administered. I got a pulse back. After multiple Narcan doses, this person's life was saved. But last year, 82 people died in Yavapai County from overdoses. Enforcement alone is not going to solve this problem. It's a community problem. Captain Nate Avenshine, the commanding officer of the Drug Task Force, says the area's biggest concern, pills laced with fentanyl, disguised to look like anything from Xanax to baby aspirin. Between 2018 and 2020, we saw nine teenagers lose their lives. Five of those occurred in 2020 alone. In addition to partnering with prevention and mental health partners, the sheriff's office is working on ramping up enforcement, targeting dealers, hoping to add two unique positions to their team, overdose death investigators. With the goal of finding and prosecuting the dealer and provider look at charging it under homicide statutes. After the day's demonstration, Avenshine and his team hit the road. Oh, girl. As they continue to come up with new ways to tackle the opioid problem, he has a message for his community. One pill can kill, and I know that may sound cliche, and that's a slogan that we use, but it's the facts. In Yavapai County, Bianca Bono, 12 News. All right, Bianca.